That moment for me was when I knew kayak fishing would never be the same and my fishing career would never be the same. What happened? I'm in my, uh, my kayak fishing uh, boat, a brand new boat that we put the new PowerPole Micro on. And I knew it was kind of a big deal to have, a, have an anchor instead of using a drag chain like we've been using before. But I went to this place called Long Branch Lakes. It's a little private pond up on top of the Cumberland Plateau in Middle Tennessee where I live. And I know there's some big fish in there and there's a lot of fish. There's a lot of little fish and occasionally some big fish. It was spawn time and it's a windy day. I go up on the lake. I, I put my first power pole on the boat. We literally designed our first kayak around the power pole micro. So it was just plug and play, screwed it on. And I thought it was, hey, it was be kind of cool, but did I know what I was in for? No. Nah. What happens, I paddle upwind, and the way I've always kayak fish, you paddle upwind. So you basically head up, upwind, and then you drift down, downwind. The problem is, on a windy day, you're going like ballistic. You're going way too fast. There's no way you can go the speed that you want to go. Even if you're running a drag chain, then you're just like stirring the water in the bottom, and it's pointing the right direction, but you're just like cruising way too fast. So today is going to be different. So today I paddled up wind, there's this big flat, and the flat potentially was a spawning flat. And I didn't think the fish were spawning it. You really couldn't see in the water very well because it was uh, super windy, choppy, cloudy. It was not a beautiful day. Go up wind, I've got my first ever uh, power pull uh, uh, remote around my neck, and I'm standing up, and I go boom, boom, and sure enough, it goes down. It stops, I almost fall out of the boat because I'm like going like Mach 10 with the wind blowing me. And it just locked me down. It was like, holy crap, we literally almost fell out of the boat. That was the first thing I remember. And I was like, okay, from now on, I gotta make sure to be a little more careful when I put this thing down. I need to either be sitting or not going as fast. I do a couple casts and I hook up with a five pounder really quickly. I'm like, ooh, this is pretty cool. Now here's where the game changed. And all of a sudden I'm like, kayak fishing will never be the same. Without getting down, I'm just standing up. I release this five pounder and I lift my power pull up just a little bit and I start drifting downwind. And then I put it back down again, like 20 feet down. And I just started fishing this whole flat with doing zero paddle strokes, not just blowing over everything and scaring the fish, not getting out of control. But I was able to control myself from, from one end of the lake to the other end of that flat. And by the time I drifted from one end to the other, I had 31 pounds of fish in the boat. I mean, it was like, whoa, unbelievable. At that moment, it was game over. I was like, okay, from now on, when we design kayaks at Jackson Kayak, we're gonna put power pole micro mounts, period. Like it's a no brainer. We have boats right now, we're putting dual power pole mounts on the back, like our Bass 360, Angler 360. Um, why? Because that moment for me was just like night and day difference. It went from a kayak is like an amazing craft, except for the fact that when a wind is blowing, you're just like, oh, wow, off you go and you can't control yourself very well, to in full control. Anyway, that was like, uh, what is a 31 pound bag to me for that day? That was pretty awesome. Now, did I mention that I lost like my two biggest fish? No, but that had nothing to do with anything other than user error, but power pole changed my life for sure.